I want to be a part of it. Hot dog, hot dog. What is up, Frankfurter friends? Today we're channeling Big City Vibes, where the street food scene is almost as iconic as the skyline. I'm your hot dog host, Tuan, and this is The Hot Dog Show. So my wife recently visited the city and she brought back an amazing present. Sabret all beef, natural casing hot dogs. So today I'm diving into a classic New York favorite, the push cart hot dog with tangy sauerkraut and a savory onion sauce. And stick around later in the video because when we build this dog, I'm going to be giving you just the tip. Just the tip on how to make your own New York style deli mustard. All right, so the first thing we've got to do, we've got to get these dogs in the water. You know how we like to do here. We got to get them simmering up, warming up, getting nice and plump, and then they'll be ready to griddle when we're ready to make this dog. So first up, dogs in the water. So one thing that's fun to do and uh, that works really great is I like to steam my buns a little bit, just to get them a little, little warm, open up. So I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them right over the steamy pan here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our savory onion sauce. Now this is uh, classic to New York. This is the classic dog. And the first thing we'll do is we'll start with one yellow onion right here. We're gonna cut this up into about uh, quarter inch thick strips. Let's do this way. This recipe calls for both fresh garlic and granulated garlic. So I'm gonna cut three cloves garlic and we're going to mince it up really, really fine. And I like to do that before I get into the before I get into cooking the onions, just because overall, I want the garlic to go in right at the end, because uh, we don't want to overcook it. It'll get burnt. So I'm gonna mince our garlic up. While we're at it, we're gonna get our stove going here. All right, while our pan's heating, we're gonna swoosh of some neutral oil. I use avocado oil. I like that. Once that's hot, we're gonna go in with the onions. And I'm just breaking these onions up so that they cook evenly. We're just gonna sweat the onions until they're translucent and that they've cooked through. We want them just to kind of soften up so that when we go and do all of our other spices that they're ready. So we've got our onions cooking. You can see that they're getting nice and translucent and we're just gonna give our onions a quick toss. We're just gonna throw in our garlic and we're gonna let that cook until it gets fragrant. Maybe about, I don't know, 30 seconds. Oh, that already smells great. Now we're gonna go in with our tomato paste and uh, about three tablespoons. What we wanna do is we wanna cook our tomato paste so that it gets a little bit roasty, some toastiness in there. It's gonna coat the bottom of the pan. And I'll tell you, that's what that's gonna do is it's just gonna build flavor going to keep building flavor. All right, now it's time for our dry ingredients. Here we've got chili powder, cumin, paprika, and a little bit of dry mustard, about a teaspoon. Recipe will be in the description, so you don't need to worry. Next up, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, and brown sugar. So we'll put in a little bit of salt and some good amount of pepper here. 
We're gonna give this a nice stir. All the flavors are coming together nicely. It smells amazing. Just gonna take two cups of water. A little less maybe. We're gonna get that in there. Give it a good stir. And uh, this recipe calls for like a pinch of cinnamon. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a cinnamon stick and we're gonna throw it in. Now, I almost forgot one very important ingredient, the white distilled vinegar, and we're gonna do about a quarter cup of that. Bring this up to a boil, and then back it off a little bit, and let it simmer for about 30 or 40 minutes. Now, don't worry if it's a bit thin, it will thicken up over that 30 or 40 minutes. It'll be totally thick and ready to go on our hot dogs. All right, we're gonna let that go, and when we come back, we'll be grilling, our sauerkraut, we'll be making our mustard, and uh, we'll be ready to build. So something I like to do, I don't know if you've ever tried this, so I've taken my sauerkraut and I've drained out all the water and I've really pressed it out to make sure that I get as much of that liquid out as I can. What I've got is my griddle heating up, really, really smoking hot, and I'm gonna give that a little bit of oil. I'm gonna take my sauerkraut, and I'm gonna throw that down right on the griddle. I'm telling you, if you have never done griddled crispy sauerkraut, you're missing out. I like to keep it on there so that it gets a nice little crisp to it, a little bit of caramelization, some browning, and you're gonna find that this, when this goes on your dog, it just adds that nice toasty flavor. And in addition to that, you gotta put it on a little bit of black pepper. Actually, I like a lot of black pepper on this. So we grill our, we griddle our kraut, we make it crispy. We get the pepper in there, we get it on a hot, hot griddle and we get it going. And I'm telling you, once you try this, you're not gonna wanna do sauerkraut any other way. All right, our grilled kraut is done. It's time to get these dogs on the griddle. Let's, you know, we gotta give them, we gotta give them the slap. We can do better than that. There it is. So while these dogs are getting their color, we are going to go and make the mustard that I promised, this New York deli style mustard. Just check this out. All right, so we've got our yellow mustard, we've got our stone ground mustard, and we've got just a little bit of the apple cider vinegar in there and we are going to give that a really good mix and it's going to give you that that vibe of the New York style deli style mustard this is a quick and easy way down and dirty to get this going and to make that mustard and it's going to be so good all right so we are ready to build this New York City classic the push cart style dog with kraut and savory onion sauce. It's gonna be amazing. First off, we're gonna start up with our deli mustard. So on your yellow mustard, what you've got is two parts yellow mustard, one part stone ground, and then just a touch of apple cider vinegar. We've got our beautiful sabret hot dog going in, going down. Look at that. So next on is the classic onion sauce. The color is perfect. Next on is our griddled sauerkraut. Oh, and that is great. That looks amazing. I mean, if that doesn't take you back to New York, I don't know what does. And last but not least, just because I like to make things look nice, we're gonna give this a little bit more of a drizzle of the yellow mustard. All right, all that's left to do now is to eat this. This is the New York City push cart style 
tangy sauerkraut, onion sauce, deli mustard, oh man. And don't forget the sabret hot dog. This is gonna be amazing. The sweet onion with the tangy tomato sauce, a little bit of the heat with the red pepper flake, the brown sugar comes through, the brightness of that deli mustard, that is something that you don't wanna miss out on. And then the tanginess of the sauerkraut altogether in this dog. Listen, if you're missing New York City, whether you're a local or you're just passing through, nothing says New York quite like this flavor combination. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss out on any of the fun while we're hanging in the bun. Oh man, New York City.